Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I've gone through all my garages again. And I found a couple of car spaces. If I was down to one space, I've got three. One is now in the auto shop, so I can get every single paint color if need be. And, and you know, all the kind of other custom stuff there. The other is... I probably should, I probably should move it from the auto shop to the arena. Because then I can get custom color headlights. That's a good idea. And the other are... The other two spaces are here. And I don't know what I'm going to do with both of them, but I know what I'm going to do with one of them. Where is it, though? Where is it? Not this one. You'd think, but no. Um, maybe someday, but not, not today just yet. And certainly not the pizza boy. Probably not getting this. Probably no, 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 no. Let's go back. This guy, all right. 1.5 million, the Coquette D1, the Generation 1 Corvette here. The first two-seater sports car made by Americans for Americans, the Coquette D1 is, a, is as iconic as thick steaks, double Ds, apple pie, and a lack of worker protections. The perfect vehicle for your delusions of Euro European suavity, just throw on a half-decent suit and pull up on some tennis-playing housewives in Rockford Hills, if you feel that sweet, sweet rush of forgetting how un how forgetting how utterly forgettable you are. All right. Don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna start as white, and we're gonna look at the liveries. The liveries really drive it for me, anyway. What? This would explain why I couldn't collect my money from my uh, from my nightclub. Something's broken. All right, reboot the game. There you go, more negative waves. Have a little faith, baby. Have a little faith. All right, let us try that again. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. All right, we go to legendary. We've already read the thing. We gotta just buy it and take the order. Bip. And booga 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 come on. Agency. There we go. Another car for the agency. We have a couple plots. On what to do with it. I mean, everybody's doing, like, the little red Corvette, which is a classic. How you doing? Uh, listen, I'm working on something. He's always working on something, and it's just great. I'm really proud of him that he's working on something. Um, should pop in here. I've seen it. I've seen a couple things on the internet. Googling 1953. A lot of white ones. But there was one in particular. Let me see if I can find it on my phone. You're not you're not obviously looking at my phone. Just scrolling back up. No, I'm not seeing it. It was it was a uh, a speedster version, a speedster racing version. But kind of a red, white, and blue. Let's see. Old school 1950 for, for, uh, Corvette. Up for auction has historic ties to NASCAR. From Barrett Jackson. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to read the whole article here. And just try and go, first of all, you can't read along with me. But there is a, you know, a, a possible racer pace car kind of build for this out there. Will we do that? I don't know. We're going to go right to livery. The livery. Black stripe. White stripe. White stripe, double stripe. That's pretty good. It was, it was more of a navy blue with the other ones. Pleasant, though. Although, there you got a, a whole racing kind of livery there. A baseball livery. That's... That's a possibility, yeah. Old school race flames. 
That'd be for more of a Rusty Jack build, and I'm probably not building this one in Rusty Jack because he's he's down at two parking spots too. Hum. I think I am going a little bit silly here. Red and white, that doesn't look bad. Now let's go back up through things. Can we, first of all, can we take the roof, the, the roof off? The roof. No roof, yes, okay, no roof is definitely, let's go with speedster build on this. Roll cage. Like a secondary roll cage. That that's gonna complete the look. Not much of a roll cage, but back then they didn't really. This is as good as it gets. Is it? Is my head? You know, is that even gonna protect my head? That's like if you if you're in a rollover, you better be ducking. Still, it's it's there and it completes the look. Okay. Respray primary. Do we want to go classic just to make sure it doesn't? It's, 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 let's see their way. Um, secondary color. I'm half tempted. Is that already chromed? I don't know. Metallic. The black works. We may leave the black. Match the red kind of works as well, too. Candy red. Can the word candy red with a 50s card just seems to, it seems to work for me. Trim color. Also, where is candy? Do we have candy red on this side? Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Does it feel 50s already? The wheels look too unique. I don't think I can, I can, uh, do anything but go with those wheels. Armor it up. Brakes, yeah, it should have some. Bumpers, front bumper. Well, that's a very racing look too. Hmm. Torpedo front bumper. The NASCAR one had the torpedo front bumper, so let's go with that. Let's rear bumper. Torpedo rear bumper with no vertical. I think I, I think I like that. Engine rev it up. Exhaust. Short side exhaust. Long side exhaust. No NASCAR exhaust. Stock exhaust comes out the, the actual bumper, which is kind of cool. That kind of fits the mood, though. Yeah, I think that fits the mood. Fits the mood. Fits the mood. Mm, black lashes, lots of lashes. Taped lights, fog lights, taped fog lights, taped fogs with tow hook, taped with fogs and tow hook. Okay, so it's, I see it's only some taped, all taped. Let's go the full nine yards for the look. Grill, grill delete. No, we want the grill. I think I like the stock grill on this hood. Putting that on, it's going to, uh, it's going to be, you know, something where it doesn't open. I wouldn't mind a set of, like, Weber intakes, you know? Something simple. That's kind of more than what I wanted. Straight up pipes. It is very vintage. All right, let's do it. Let's be silly. Put the regular... 
attempt to uh, improve handling. I'll leave the stock horn mirrors. So you get your round alternate mirrors. Torpedo wing mounted mirrors. Race wing mounted mirrors. Should we go with a really light and fragile look to this? The plate. Oh me, 570. 570. Okay, we'll leave it for the 570. But we're going to give it an E. cola plate just because it'll match. Respray we did. Roll cage we did. Roof we did. Suspension. I don't know if we want to slam this too much. I mean, will that work? I mean, you're, you're really scrunching up the exhaust there. I've lost my uh, lost my picture of the other one. All right, let's maybe we'll cut something here, just maybe just a little bit lowered. Maybe street suspension, so it's not too low. I think that's a good plan. Good compromise. Transmission, we rev it up, right? Yeah, trim, chrome trim, delete. Nah, I don't think. I mean, I can see that working. Primary, okay. Side panel, no. Primary side panel, no trim. No, we're, we're going to leave this stock. I like I like the, the, the two-tone. Trunk latches, that means it just won't open. The spare wheel. Is this, is this where we gain traction on this car? None of that works with the race look. The retro antenna, maybe. I mean, the racing wheel kind of works for it. Like, you know, you're out. All right, is this um, turbo out up for now? Ooh. Wheels, tires, bulletproofs. Windows, not really going to matter. Oh, there actually are windows there. All right, just for the fact that actually it's one way you can actually see them, we'll do that. So the whole idea here is trunk accessories. Is that something that's required? I don't see it changing the traction bar. That's that's just not working for me for, for the application we have here. I'm leaving it. Leaving it go. Maybe what we'll do. What's the most? What's the least? Let's go with the retro antenna. Just so that if case you need that, then we have it. And we exit. Vroom. Sounds like the Blackfin. In my ear. Which it would. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I mean, it's totally just an upgraded Blackfin, except instead of in the Muscle Class, it's in Sports Classics. It is in Sports Classics, right? Yeah. So, it's just another place where you can uh, do that. And, alright, those work. All right, all that's left to do is Gilead. Well, it's not all that's left to do, but it is the next thing, you know? So what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Rockstar created. No, I'm me created. My jobs, races, the Chiliad hot lap route. Oh, it's Chiliad hot lap route. Give it we'll give this the best hope. I don't really know if this is gonna do well. Alright, let's just confirm. Where is it? 
There you go. Right next to the other coquette, you got this coquette. It's a, very, it's a very weird thing. Sometimes I feel like doing something very classic. Sometimes I feel like doing something really wild. This is kind of both. Let's see if this puppy can do the do the jump. I may have turned off the, the boost on go at some point. It didn't default it off. I went the wrong way. Okay. Those intakes way out of the water. We were able to let it scoot around. I have some traffic on, so there should be a train issue. Alright. There's the train. Yep, the train is a coming. It feels pretty quick, but I'm going to imagine it's not going to be a grip machine. It's an old Corvette, I mean, you know, with thin wheels. I don't know, we're gonna see what happens here. Will it, will it go up to Shiliad? That's the question. Will it go up to Shiliad? I would like one of these over on my Rusty Jack character, but honestly, I'm just running out of parking, so we're going to have to go single, single cars here at this point. So the critical ones, I think I have covered. I'm not sure what to do with the Borsch lock on. I might have enough parking for that something. Had very bad time of it. We're on Bruffy's channel in the Horse Like Hammer. That video is already up. By the time you see this. And I'm not going to link it in the description. I encourage you to search through the videos, see what I've got to offer, you know? Like and subscribe. I can't say that enough on you because honestly I think more of you would really like liking and subscribing. It's something you should try. See what else I have to offer on this wonderful channel and my other channels, which are linked in the description. going bad. This is going rather better than I you know, expected. Good sound. I wonder how different it is from the actual Coquette Blackfin. Like, is this just a Coquette Blackfin in the uh, in a different class? With, of course, a lot more visual mods and a little bit more refinement. I'm okay with all that. I'm glad it's here. You can't have too many old Corvettes in a game. That's just how it is. And the, the Blackfin is a little bit different. It's a slightly different uh, body style. It's, it's, it's roughly the same era, but a little bit later. So this is good. Very nicely sculpted. It's a beautiful car. Okay. Ooh, that was that was violent. Traction is really quite remarkable as far as I can tell, as far as what you can expect from a sports classic. I'm not gonna go full yeet on this. I've been putting it into the uh, into the logging mill here as of late. Oh, that was sublime. This is a very good car. Now 
a very quick car that even in like a full racing spec looks like something that you know you'd be seeing at a really expensive auction. This is a Barrett Jackson kind of car. Pushing 75 years old, but I mean, you know. Are we there already? I don't even I, I'm not doing math right now, I'm driving. The dismount made me happy there's a roll bar. Not glass, that's side glass. Boy, that's that's when they made side glass back in the day, you know. is really nice. Lift it a little there just to uh to miss the in the injection but it's uh didn't hit the injection but it did unsettle the car a little bit. Can it make the jump? Bush didn't seem to bother, it's made the jump. Lost a lot of momentum there, but it, well, it really, not a bad Chiliad car. This thing has a lot of traction. I'll be interested to take this racing. I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think it's the top sports classic, but I think it'd be a lot of fun and I think it'd be competitive. Let's look back at what Ruffy said about it. Maybe a case of it's not as fast as it feels. It feels fast. It feels good. I like it. One way or another, I like it. 715 is not a bad time. it out to free mode. Let's pull it to the side, pop the hood, pop the doors, take a quick look at it like we always do. And hit the thing, manage your vehicles, vehicle preferences, all. Oh. Trunk doesn't open anyway. I wonder if I took that off. Oh, I can see that maybe the trunk would clip into it. If I took that off, would the trunk open? Maybe. And the hood's not opening either. Probably wouldn't clear the intakes. Oh well, I mean, it is what it is here. Maybe someday I'll take that little radio off. Once I've done a little bit of research and find out if it's necessary. Let's just take a look here. Check out the, the little, in, you know, the, the car lighting. The, the internal car lighting looks really cool. I don't know where it's coming from. It's kind of spooky and radiating, but it's it's coming from the uh, the roof that isn't there. But very nice vehicle. I'm quite happy with this build. Beautiful, beautiful set of wheels. And on that note, folks, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.